Oh, hello internet, it's your old beard buddy Jed, and I'm here to do a quick video talking a bit about sources. As you may know, there's this whole big thing going on right now saying, oh no, oh no, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, as is being coined, only runs at 30 frames per second on Xbox One, and it runs at 60 frames on PS4. Oh no, oh no, Xbox One, you suck, PS4 is better. But let's take a look at the source of this information, shall we? Rocketchainsaw.com.au, a uh, Australian website who has 167 followers on Twitter and just over 1,200 subscribers on YouTube. And the, uh, the person who uh, posted this information posted it on NeoGAF, and he just happens to be a moderator, which, by the way, uh, in their TOS says it's against the rules to promote your own stuff on NeoGAF, so I guess it doesn't apply to moderators. But people took this as gospel, and all they say is they have verified sources close to them detailing performance and rendering quality of both versions, and that the PS4 runs usually close to 60, and the Xbox One runs close to 30. Really, everyone just took this and ran with it. I just Google searched and just everyone's posted it as this is true, this is the gospel. And it could be true, but just, you know, taking it from this person and just running with it seems ridiculous to me. I mean, what the site, I looked at the site, there's nothing amazing. They don't really have much exclusives. They might be a good site. Maybe they're big in Australia. I don't know. But from what I've seen, people just take this and run with it. It's like the Nintendo Fusion thing, if you haven't heard about it. Some Nintendo news site, I believe that's actually what they're called, posted this information that was supposed to be leaked from a verified insider, but they don't know the insider and uh, avoid it, avoid their source and like talking about it whatsoever. And people ran with it like, oh, this is a thing and everyone posted about it. And this has happened so many times in the past few years in game journalism where these little sites will post something and then other sites will just snowball that to you and everyone's just like oh this is a thing that's real and true um, but you know if you do your own research you can find things for instance Eurogamer just a couple of days ago had an interview with Scott Amos who is the executive producer of Tomb Raider who said the definitive edition will be 80 frames or 1080p 30 frames per second on both PS4 and Xbox One right well you could read into that and say at least 30 frames per second um, but then he does uh, say on a couple of streams that the PS4 will be 60 frames per second and there's other confirmations that it will be 60 frames per second so you can kind of read the details and you can see that this story is probably true but i'm just making this video saying you know you really have to consider your sources of information you can't just go by you know neogaf i'm mean, yes they've broken some stories but you can't just go there and just see assume instantly if it's posted there it's gospel Especially when it links to a source site that has no actual proof. They just go, we have reliable sources. Guess what that means to me? Fucking nothing. I can say I have reliable sources that Barack Obama's an alien. You're gonna run with that? Probably not. So, just wanted to make a little rant video that says, you know, consider your sources. And uh, don't buy Tomb Raider Definitive Edition if you've already bought a version of the game. You're sending a really awful message of, hey, the game that I bought last generation, sell it to me again with just slightly better graphics for $60 because I'm a schmuck and I'll buy it. I'm Jed, and if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe. See you later. Don't be a schmuck, aight? You heard?